In SQL, why do you sometimes see code written with this one equals one in the where clause? Depending on whose code you're looking at, you may or may not see this, but this is the reason why I do this and why you'll see some other people do this. When you put your conditional logics in your where clause, the very first condition that you have doesn't start with the word and, but then any conditions after that are gonna have the word and in front of it. That makes sense and the code works just fine, but what happens when you have to comment out some of those lines of code? Now it's natural when you're debugging your code, you might wanna comment out this first line, but still keep the second line. But if you comment out that first line and then you run your code, it's going to throw an error. And that's because now your first valid line that's running has an and statement in front of it, but there's nothing before it. That's a problem and it throws an error. So to fix that error, you have to go in here and you have to delete the word and out of it and then run your code and everything works. But when you get done debugging, you'd uncomment that first line, try to run it again, and you might forget to put that and back in and that's going to cause a bug. This is just super annoying to deal with because you run into these runtime bugs or you have to delete or re-add that word and back and forth into your code whenever you're going through debugging. The solve to this is to put one equals one, which returns true, and then the next line is going to be and, and then the condition that you want, and then the third line will be an and, and then that condition. Now when you're working with your code, if you ever want to comment out that second line or third line condition, you can do so without running into any runtime bugs or adding or deleting any words.